repellent. You don't want to spray that on your donors. There's one message that emits donor repellent big time, more than anything else. You'll want to avoid that message, since attracting donors, not repelling donors, is your job. The donor repellent message is desperation. It's easy to mistakenly communicate desperation. If you can't meet your payroll next week or next month, that's a pretty desperate situation. Seeking a bailout isn't a solution, and a move like that likely won't work. No one wants to throw money away on a lost cause. They know that there are always deeper roots to these problems. Yes, your cause may address a desperately urgent need. However, desperation isn't the message you want to communicate. What you need to communicate is the urgency that points towards a solution your donors can get behind. It's that sense of urgency that offers them hope. And your cause is urgent. Hungry people need to be fed. Diseases need cures. Children need a healthy environment. Your messaging needs to communicate the urgency of your cause. Your organization must be well run so it doesn't become desperate. At the same time, your mission must be important and urgent. That's what drives donors to action. Proper messaging communicates urgency for your cause to your donors. For example, more children need after-school programs and it's our mission to meet that need this year. If you're communicating desperation, you might say something like, if you don't give now, we'll have to close our doors. Your job is to attract donors, not repel them. Desperation is uncomfortable and it does nothing for your cause. You know this firsthand from dating and job hunting. Like, please, please, I need this job. Or please go out with me. In the end, desperation only leads to separation and an unwanted kind of urgency. You want your sense of urgency to inspire and spur donors to give. Check to make sure your communication with donors, both written and verbal, expresses urgency and importance, not desperation. You can learn specific ways to attract donors and avoid repelling them by joining Mastering Major Gifts, my seven-week online course. The course covers best practices for messaging to ensure that you'll pull donors in, not push them away. Please buy this course now, because if you don't, I might go out of business. Just kidding, but seriously. The sooner you get started with Mastering Major Gifts, the closer you'll be to achieving your organization's mission. See what I did there? If you want more videos like this, head on over to amyeisenstein.com. There you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, and when you do, you'll get instant access to two free eBooks. Like and share. The larger the conversation, the more we all learn.